Hello my loves and welcome to my channel. My name is Jade Shinyu and I help people reclaim their power physically, mentally and spiritually. Now, happy Halloween, happy Samhain. Today we are doing a really interesting video so I'm very excited to share about it. Um, and basically this is going to be exposing witchcraft that was used in World War II by both opposing sides. So today we're going to be sharing basically what dark occultism that Hitler himself was actually involved in heavily and what sort of witchcraft he was using and his connections to interdimensional beings and that sort of thing and a huge conspiracy around his death and also the godfather of Wicca, Gerald Gardner and a very powerful ritual that he done along with um, a group of other witches called the New Forest Witches. So let's start with Gerald Gardner and basically a very powerful ritual and spell that he done with a group, a coven of other witches. And then we'll get into Hitler's involvement and into the occult. So with Gerald, basically he joined a coven called the New Forest Witches um, in 1939. And it was in 1940 that they performed a very powerful spell called the Cone of Power. Um, to prevent Hitler from coming overseas and invading Britain. And it was apparent that basically this ritual had also been used twice uh, to defend the British Isles before, but without uh, Gerald Gardner. So they were going to do it a third time with him. Um, and another occultist who was very well known and powerful back in the day is actually Dion Fortune, um, who also joins them. So if you want more information on her, I probably will do a separate video on her as I think she was very incredible and she has amazing books. So basically to do this spell, they met up in New Forest Park and they joined in a circle and they danced naked. <laughs> a lot of witches do dance naked um, so they can be completely immersed in nature to conjure the energy better. Um, so basically they would chant in a circle and danced naked whilst Gerald would basically invoke the spell um, separately. So whilst they were doing that, this is how they conjure energy. So they were conjuring a cone of energy. And basically Gerald was conjuring a spell to target Hitler's mind, to cloud his judgment, to hasten his downfall. So basically prevent him coming to them. Um, and the spell was, you cannot cross the sea, you cannot come. You cannot cross the sea, you cannot come. So they were repeating that again and again and again, whilst he was also conjuring a very powerful spell to completely mess with his brain. <laughs> and it was said that unfortunately during the spell, because the witches were using so much of their energy, um, some of the more fragile witches actually died. So they were just dropping dead because they were conjuring and using so much of their life force and their chi and their energy that it was just too much for them and they actually died from it. So she, uh, so basically it was successful what they done. So the spell was successful because they did abruptly change their minds uh, six weeks later. So what was called Operation Sea Lion to invade uh, Britain um, was changed. So they cancelled that. So instead he actually started to do a, a different operation called operation barbosa and invaded the sovereign union instead and it was only less than a year later that he actually went on to then declare war in america and it was there he actually done you know two very serious miscalculations which ultimately led to very catastrophic events and ultimately his downfall in the future however they didn't end there so what they wanted to do was basically conjure a huge massive act of weather magic so they wanted to conjure a massive storm um which obviously would have taken a huge amount of their energy so they could um, block the nazis and allow their allies to safely um, land in normandy undetected um which was successful however um because this was an even more bigger spell Again, it was said that witches again died during this because they had to use so much of their energy in order to produce enough energy to conjure it. Um, and even uh, American, um, even Native Americans routinely used to do this. So weather magic is very um, common throughout all cultures of witches and um, people who practice, you know, magic. Um, you know, you see it a lot with Native Americans doing rain dances and that sort of thing. And um, even I myself, I love doing what I call cloud magic. Um, and some people do this where you can literally break up clouds <laughs> using your minds. 
I have a, a video posted on my Instagram of me doing this. So you really just have to focus on like a small cloud and in your mind, imagine it like breaking up and disappearing. Like you're rubbing it off um, a whiteboard. <laughs> um, and trust me, with enough practice, it does work. Uh, it's quite fantastic and amazing. Um, and it will really show you how powerful your mind can be um, when you fully use your intents. So yeah, but basically, unfortunately, it was said that which is more witches dies during it however they didn't die in vain because it was successful now moving on to hitler um this is such an interesting topic so basically hitler was hugely and i mean massively into the occult um he actually was part of a secret society an occultic secret society called the real society so v-r-i-l i don't know if i'm saying that right real society um, but before that he was actually initiated into a different society called the Thule Society again I don't know if I'm saying that right T-H-U-L-E um, so he was initiated in 1919 but then that they taught them basically how to harness the power of real and then they became um, their own society and called it the, the real society so but when he was part of that group um which is kind of like a cult in a way a uh, coven a dark coven you know these people were not like the wiccans <laughs> they were doing um you know dark occultic magic obviously so he was harnessing and learning how to um you know become very powerful which is evident in what he later you know done and and this is why Hitler was, you know, so successful and able to brainwash people very, very powerfully um, because he used all his occultic knowledge in his um, Nazi, you know, journey, obviously. So this real magic was basically used to create an Aryan race of super soldiers. So because as we all know, Hitler was obsessed with um, being Aryan and making everyone like purging anyone else, basically, to rid all other bloodlines. Um, he wanted just to have an Aryan race of people. And it was said that these people claimed to be descendants of the old gods um, from the times of Noah and the floods. So they said that basically these old descendants, um, they, sorry, so basically they said that they were descendants from these old gods that actually escaped the floods and fleed um, under earth. So this is also connected to the hollow earth um, conspiracies. So because this is what Hitler believed, that there was um, a very powerful Aryan race of um, humanoids. And these people would also be connected to higher races um, from different dimensions. So they were connecting to them and then other dimensional beings. So this is why it is commonly known that Hitler also has many connections to alien beings and why he was obsessed with spaceships and spacecrafts and even built them. Um, you know, there's so much <laughs> to it. Um, but basically, this is what these people believed, that they are connected to a very old race um, of like gods-like creatures, gods-like humanoids. People might um, have even said that it could be potentially connected to the Nephilim, the fallen angels and that sort of thing as well. A very um, interesting part of this group in society that Hitler always had um, very close to him was someone called the Vril Maidens. So these were three women um, that led this group, that led this coven, who were very powerful psychic women, very powerful psychic mediums who regularly done um, seances so they could channel information from their gods, from their um, other... Uh, you know entities from other dimensions that would give them the knowledge to build technology that they would use in war and use in their attacks um, it was even said that she was given the blueprint of a spacecraft and they were able to make one um, even a time machine and people who've studied you know Hitler deeply you know he obviously had very advanced technology for the time um, and weaponry and this sort of thing so it's very interesting that you know he was very closely interconnected with these women um and it was like so basically their trademark was they would have very very long hair really long hair they were exceptionally beautiful um but their hair would be literally down to their ankles even the floor and this is because they believed that their hair was an antenna so it actually helped them channel, it actually helped them connect to other um, beings. Um, and this is actually true, like I've said, this is why I wear my hair long. 
and I try not to cut it because people, many people and occultists and gurus throughout history of all different cultures, good and bad, have known that, you know, long hair does seem to amplify psychic abilities um, because hair holds energy and your hair comes from your spine. So it's basically like an antenna. This is why you see it in like Avatar. Um, this is why you see it even in Native Americans keep their hair very long and um, even ancient China. And it was always, even Vikings, like many civilizations in the past would have very long hair because they knew this. So, and it was always a, the most hugest um, betrayal and, you know, torture to cut their hair um, throughout all different types of cultures and civilizations. Um, and the lead woman, I think was called Maria Orsic. Again, I don't know if I'm saying that right. <laughs> she was German, obviously. Um, and she was like the main channeler. She was the main maiden. So with these women and with this group, with this coven, they basically would do dark occultic magic. So very similar to like Alistair Crowley type things, but even more so. Um, so this means that they're regularly doing sex magic. They're regularly doing blood ritual sacrifice. So sacrificing people, blood rituals, drinking bloods. And, you know, you have to remember that basically this was a whole society of the highest ranking Nazis. So all of the highest ranking Nazis were basically part of this coven, part of this group, um, very much involved with all these types of rituals. So they would regularly do these things um, and also regularly hold seances so they could make Maria channel information and get information. She'd also do automatic writing. It's even been documented that she does Sumerian writing. Um, she was able to connect to very um, dark but powerful interdimensional beings. Um, so she would obviously, you know, get possessed by them, channel information. Um, so, yeah, it's such a deep rabbit hole. Um, but this is why even in like movies, they show you this. Like if you watch Hellboy 2, um, the people in that, which I actually saw recently, are basically represent the Nazis. And in the beginning, you see how they open a portal to hell and that's how Hellboy gets through. Um, but basically, this is the sort of shit they were into. So they were heavily involved and obsessed. You know, Hitler was obsessed with um, gaining as much power as you could from a dark occultic practices, but also technology connected to it. It's also shown in um, certain games as well, like um, I think Call of Duty Black Ops, um, they actually show this as well. So how like the army is heavily involved with um, occultic things and rituals, you know, it's literally in your face, like they show it in media and entertainment. So, because it was true, but basically, um with hitler it's also there's also a huge conspiracy over his death many people don't believe that he killed himself that again that was a psyop that was a lie um because it was shown that basically the skull that the germans had with the bullet um hole when it was tested it actually came back as a 35 year old woman so oh and after that before they were given that skull to test and um, they spent millions trying to find his body, trying to find Hitler. So they actually didn't find him for a really long time. Um, and then when they were able to test that skull, it wasn't even a man. <laughs> so, um, and there's another conspiracy. There was actually a guy on Joe Rogan, uh, Joe Rogan having an interview with him, um, who's an expert in this. And he said that it was known, um, well, highly possible that one, he completely escaped to South America um, with tens of thousands of Nazis, the high ranking ones. So they were able to escape there. And to this day, there are German communities living in South America that solely speak German, not Spanish. Um, so they are actually the descendants um, of these high powerful Nazis, not saying that they're evil, but yeah, their ancestors were them. So again, it's very, very possible that that's what happened. Um, and he also had connections, apparently secret bases in Antarctica. So yeah, there's a huge, huge um, conspiracy about all that. Also how he was connected to certain types of very dark alien races. 
um, there's ions, you know, reptilians. So, you know, it's, there's many, many things. Um, and of course, you know, fallen angels and Nephilim. So it's heavily all to do with like bloods and a blood race, um, bloodlines, sorry. Like as we know, and I've said in um, past videos how, you know, the Udamanti, them they themselves are, you know, heavily obsessed with bloodline, keeping it pure. And so is Hitler. Um, they don't want to mix bloods. This is even shown in Harry Potter, you know, with Voldemort. Um, very similar thing. Basically, Harry Potter, there's so much truth in it. Um, this is what these dark occultists are always like. They are really, really obsessed with keeping blood pure. They don't want to mix with mud bloods. They don't want to mix at all. Um, and this is why even Draco Malfoy, you know, and his family all have, you know, the white blonde hair. They look Aryan. So, um, yeah, like there's so much symbology in that as well. And of course, they're all into like dark magic and that sort of thing. Um, you know, it's everywhere. There's so much symbolism and, you know, movies, games, music, if you know what you're, you know, what you're looking for. And it's important to note that um, even Maria, so the women, the real maidens, they were never found after the war either. So, um, you know, they all pretty much disappeared <laughs> conveniently. So what's your opinion on this? Let me know in the comments down below and let me know if you want to see even more um, on Hitler and his connection to the occult and aliens and that sort of thing, as it is a very, very interesting topic. If you want to watch uncensored content that I make that I can't share on YouTube, which dives even deeper to all of these types of things, especially to do with conspiracies and dark occultic magic and that sort of stuff, um, even the current war going on with Israel and Palestine, which I will be doing a second video to as there's even more that's come out on that. Um, huge conspiracy with that, by the way. So if you want to see that, part one is already up and part two will be coming next week. Um, then please join my Patreon, The Goddess Coven. The link is down below as always. And if you yourself want one-to-one -one help with me personally, I do offer Oracle card readings. So if you need spiritual guidance or, you know, with any problem or issue, if you just feel lost in life, um, then please contact me as I'm able to offer you that service and help you one-to-one. -one. Um, again, join with the link down below and then you can take it from there. Another reminder, I only have one Instagram, so please do not get scammed by fake accounts messaging you. I never reach out. <laughs> I never message people offering readings. You know, everything is done through my Linktree link. So until the next time, my loves, I'm sending you so much love, so much light. Stay safe during this Halloween. Ahimsa.